everybody. It's Tyler here at Ontario Provincials checking in. 2200 MM Rambotics. What a phenomenal season they've had here so far. Winnie McMaster looking really good here at Provincials as well too. Take a look at MM Rambotics, what they have to offer. This packaging is absolutely incredible that we go through in here. A lot of cool multifunction areas they'll do. Of course, uh, under the bumper intake, we'll follow that note journey all the way through. A great trap shot as well too. And we talking about a little bit of their uh, programming as well too. So let's learn more about 2200 coming up here on Behind the Bumpers. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Discover how Kettering University students engineer their success with Kettering's amazing co-op employment programs where students earn great pay and gain valuable experience. Those accepted into Kettering University can apply for a robotic scholarship providing up to an additional $5,000 a year in tuition assistance. Head on over to kettering.edu slash first to learn more and apply. Support funds content creators when you sign up for a membership on YouTube Join. You'll get access to special perks like emotes, loyalty badges, and fund members will even get early access to our scheduled videos and more. 100% of this revenue will go back to our correspondents to help recognize their efforts. Click the join button in any YouTube video to pledge your support. Ethan, let's start off from the bottom up, talking about your under the bumper intake and into the transfer as well. Talk to me more about your design and process All right, for it. so uh, here we have a, a nice bumper that comes up so we can only slide the note under the bumper here. Um, then it comes into these rollers here. Um, so they move in these uh, small pieces of plastic right here, center the note, so that we always grab it centered. And then this arm will come down here. Oh, I can't move it because it's, uh, it's enabled, but the arm will come down here and preload using these three rollers. So the note will come in and then just push back a little bit so that we get the power of these back rollers and the front rollers when shooting. Uh, we just have some cool features. We got a nice gearbox here uh, on the intake and we just have some nice CNC parts with our team number uh, done by us. So That's when you it. were approaching the Crescendo game, what made you want to go with this sort of packaging on your robot? Uh, we found that there was going to be a lot of notes on the floor, especially during auto. So everything was going to need to be under, like, on the floor intake and we put it under the bumper and behind the bumper so that one, we wouldn't get hit by other robots and be outside of frame perimeter and two, so that we could nice uh, pick up ro uh, pieces very smoothly. Uh, the little things that center it help us a lot uh, when preloading our shot and making everything centered and perfect. So we just thought that making it under the bumper uh, would be convenient and help us score the most points. Can uh, we uh, intake a note and see what that looks like? Sure. And then I'll preload right there. Well, let's pass over to Logan and talk about your uh, continuing that note journey. You got an awesome uh, dual amp and uh, speaker shooter as well too. So walk me through what you have, and of course we'll demo it too. All right. So once it's gotten through the intake and into the shooter mechanism, and it's preloaded properly, we've got a variety of positions. So we have the our limelight shot where it tracks the April tag in front of the speaker, and it can shoot that. We have our subwoofer shot. It's a set position where we're right up against the speaker, and we can get that angle right. As well we have the amp shot. We go right up against the amp and we can shoot it downwards. We also have the trap shot so when we're up on the, uh, the stage we can go upwards and wanna go for all the positions and make that trap shot. These ears here they push down the trap door so it opens it up and the trap shot can go through. Looking overall at the uh, general structure of this, when you were looking at uh, packaging this area, I mean, this fits so nicely into yeah. everything on there. Like, any uh, considerations in regards to, like, your design of, like, you know, that note travel? Like, what did you have to do to make sure there was no jamming or slippage or anything like that? Well, a big thing this year was to make sure that our robot was compact. We didn't want any mishaps like last year where we fell over due to being too tall. So. We designed it to kind of compact into the smallest shape possible. We have two joints, the shoulder and the wrist, that come out to our different positions. And through a lot of tuning, we've able to stop different slippages of the note throughout the mechanism. Last thing I want to ask you on here are these uh, rollers that you're using. A lot of teams that we've talked to have gone with like multiple sets of wheels and that sort of thing. Can you just talk to me a little about what these rollers are and why'd you go this route? Yeah, so at the start, we, as you can see in the intake rollers over here, we kind of had those out throughout the entire mechanism. But we noticed that the shooter rollers were not strong enough when they were these initial form. So we upgraded them to be thicker and more grippy into these ones. But looking back, it would have been a bit more effective if we had switched to larger rollers just on the sides. Maybe some four inch wides, three inch rollers like that. 
So we talked about the different states. Uh, the other thing I want to talk to you in regards to programming is your LED feedback as well too. Can you uh, run me through what you're using for that? Yeah, so our LEDs, we have eight different strips around, two LED strips on each corner, and we have them programmed to tell us different states when we're shooting. So the bottom half will light up yellow when it's detected an April tag, and they will light up green when the robot has aligned itself, pointing directly towards the April tag. Um, when the rollers are up to speed, the top half lights up white. So when we see a half white, half green LED system, we know we're ready to shoot and we'll get that full power. Lucy, we gotta talk about these, uh, this trap mechanism you have. Your team has been doing so well on this so far, so walk me through more of the composition of it. Uh, and then uh, also the climber as well too, I'd love to hear more about it. So starting off when we first go into our trap uh, position, we have to extend to lift the shooter out of the way and get the climbers as high as we can in order to get onto that chain. Um, once we're aligned, the next step, we've got three different kind of stages here. This is the second one that we flip the shooter around so that way um, it's kind of in a position that it can reach the trap and then lowers the arms down a little bit further. Then our final stage you, um, climbs up on the chain a little bit further. This was a really important piece for us that it was our robot is just tall enough that when the chain is all the way down, it can reach the trap. So we have to get it as low as possible in order to be able to reach it. Um, and then from this position, we score our trap. So on the end here, there's a couple of these polycarb pieces. Does this help you in regards to balancing on uh, the uh, Yeah, trap for area? sure. So these pieces of polycarb um, help us to push open the trap door. We started without them, but found that in our hanging position, that front uh, shooter roller was always getting stuck and not providing enough power in order to get the note actually into the trap. So with the polycarb pieces, pushes the trap door open and also helps us a little bit to align so that the positioning is right for the scoring of that note. Well, MM Rambach, congratulations on a great season so far. We can't wait to see how you do here at Provincials, but thanks for taking time to tell us more about your robot. You got a fantastic one and good luck the rest of the way. Thank you so much. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Discover how Kettering University students engineer their success with Kettering's amazing co-op employment programs where students earn great pay and gain valuable experience. Those accepted into Kettering University can apply for a robotic scholarship providing up to an additional $5,000 a year in tuition assistance. Head on over to Kettering.edu first to learn more and apply.